Is this a Daiwa Ryoga killer? Let's go on in the air conditioning, discuss it, and find out if this is killing the Daiwa Ryoga. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside the nice air conditioning here in Jacksonville, Florida in the Wolf Den. I am Captain Dave Seipler. This is the Jetty Wolf Tackle Junkie video playlist, basically. That's where all these videos end up, where I talk about tackle. On my playlist on my channel called The Tackle Junkie. Jetty Wolf, the Tackle Junkie. What you got here is, as I said, this is the new 2017 Daiwa Saltiga Bay Jigging Reel. Disregard this. This is just a rubber band. It's so the line doesn't pull through. Want to keep that. I don't want my line getting all screwed up. I got black line on here. This is a dark gunmetal gray reel or smoke colored. As you see, it's got the super jigging handle. Look at that. Watch this. Look at that. That's ball bearings, folks. Serious ball bearings. So this is the mag sealed, as it says here, BJ200SH. It is a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio reel. I mean, really cool. Very beautiful. Uh, everything ticks. There's nothing lacking on this reel. This ticks. Uh, you've got a quick release. You undo that. And the side cover comes off. I'm not going to take it off because it was a little difficult to get it back on. And then that locks it on. Okay, this is the Saltiga. But you're saying to yourself, wow, where have I seen that reel before? Well, it is mag sealed. So this is, says mag sealed right there. That's the Daiwa magnetic oil that keeps all salt water or any moisture from penetrating into these main gears here via this area if any water tries to get in here it holds it out this does have what other ones reels like this don't have and it says it right here which is the automatic drag system the ATD via what Daiwa calls it. It's a slow starting drag. You don't, so when a fish pulls on it, you don't get in a, if you've got really heavy tension on here, okay, and you have a fish that just yanks it. If this was, you know, really just heavy tension, what it would be would be, you know, kind of a jerk, which I can tell you honestly. I mean, that's all about that drag system being absolutely like butter. Okay. So it's kind of like when I I showed you all my Ajimatic uh, reels from Shimano. And then you go like this and it's actually the beginning of the drag is spring loaded. It's Daiwa's way of doing the sort of the same thing on a modern level where the drag isn't just really tough. It goes out with effortless pressure no matter what drag setting this might be on. Okay. So, let's look at the box and let's discuss a little bit about its features. Okay, I have two boxes here. 
Here's the Daiwa Saltiga box, BJ200SH. All right, now we, not many of us know Japanese, but I know enough to get by just looking at the, the stats. All right, so it's a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio, 325 gram weight of the reel. Drag is 7 kilograms, which turns out to be about 15 pounds of pressure. 81 centimeters per turn of the reel. 10 ball bearings is what it says here. And I believe that one is one anti-reverse roller bearing. You got the Japanese PE braid. They call it PE, and that's a little bit different rating than us. You got the 1, 2, and 2.5. I don't really know, but I'll just kind of give you an approximation. I'm sure somebody out there knows all the little details more than I do. I'm more of a user than a detail guy. But let's just call that 10-pound test of braid, 450 meters, 20, 250 meters, and 2.5, which will be 25, let's say, approximation, 200 meters of line. But you're going to say to yourself, like I did, and I knew this going in, what? What's the deal? This is a Saltiga. Why does this look just like a Ryoga? Well, let's bring in Mr. Ryoga and check him out. There's a Ryoga. Ryogas come in all different kinds of flavors here. This is what would be considered the largest, and it is a 2025. Now, somebody one time told me that that isn't lined. What it, the line that it's made for, it's the diameter of the line or something because they have um, Ryogas that are 1012s, 1016s, 2020s, and 2025s. This is a 2025. I own many. The smallest one I guess you could say that I have is a 1016. Uh, the reels are a little bit different size. The spools are a little different. But, geez, doesn't this sort of look like this? Hmm. Well, what we got here, folks, is Daya was playing a little trick on us. They're not trying to deceive, but it's still a little tricky that what they're doing. Is they are taking the the Ryoga platform, meaning this design, all right, this very futuristic design, okay, this big bump out gear case, all machined aluminum. This one, you turn this, and you can see it's starting to separate. I'm not going to take it off completely. You got this gap starting. That's how you take the spool out. On the smaller Ryoga versions, this has a Daiwa Z-Mag system built into it. But we're talking jigging reels, big handles designed for, you know, jigging offshore. Isn't it funny, though? This one is a 7.4. This one's a 7.3. Okay. This one, a little longer line guide. This one. Kind of a short little line guide. This one cuts up in here. Machine cuts in here. Hmm. This one doesn't have it. They still have the all metal. This is metal. I love that. Metal. You know, button. Um... This one's a little wider. That one's a little shorter. This whole spool looks a little wider. This looks a little shorter. 
But let me show you something. The Ryota has this big gear case hump, right? Look how far that sticks out, right? And underneath, you see the big gear case hump here. Then you go over to this one, really short, doesn't come out all the way. And then down here, it's very small gear case hump. But it's a 7.3. This one's a 7.4. Does that tell me that the gearing in this one is bigger than this? I would assume so. So, is the Saltiga a Ryoga killer? No, it does not. The Ryoga is still the top of the line and benchmark quality bait casting machined type reels. What Daiwa is doing is kind of playing with us. They came out with now this Saltiga. They came out with one called the Basara that's all cut out for bass fishermen for really lightness. They came out with this Catalina, which has less ball bearings. Not as refined. Then they've got ones that are Ryoga Limited Edition. The Ryogas now are blue and silver, and all of the new ones are mag sealed. Like this one says, mag sealed. So what all this is boiling down to is price point how much you're going to spend to get something like this. I can see that the screws are in a different area. See the screws up here? And the one thing you'll do notice is they're kind of a hex-headed key. No straight slot, no uh, Phillips head, none of that BS on a high-quality reel like this. You want, you want a straight slot screw that holds your reel together so when that gets full of salt or something and you go to undo it, go buy yourself a pen. They are infamous for corrosion, straight slot screws. I mean, come on, get with 2017 pen. Does this one have the automatic drag system? No, this one doesn't. This one does. So, the Saltiga is not a Ryoga killer. The Saltiga is just a lighter weight version of the Ryoga. They're making so many reels on this platform, they just went ahead and said, you know, hey, everybody loves the Saltiga that we make for jigging, you know, big offshore stuff. Let's make one out of that, that Ryoga kind of um, form factor. But let's go ahead and look at the Saltiga. And let's look at the Daiwa Ryoga stats. Okay, let's get to the stats here. So, what was I talking about over here? We had a Saltiga. 7.3 to 1. Ryoga, 7.4 to 1. All right. 87 Ryoga, 87 centimeters of line that it takes up. This one being just a skosh smaller or light, uh, smaller in um, retrieve ratio, it's an 81 centimeters. The Saltiga weighs 325 grams, where the Ryoga, the large 2025 Ryoga, weighs 340 grams. It's got 10. The Ryoga has 10 bearings, plus I think what this says is the one roller bearing. The Saltiga has 10 bearings with the one roller bearing. Now let's get into the drag. The drag here, I believe, is... 10 kilograms. That's the Ryoga. That's pushing up to 20 pounds of drag pressure. Over here at the Saltiga, 
seven kilograms. So what are we looking at here? Are we looking at a Daiwa Ryoga 2025, the bad boy of the bunch? Are we looking at the killer here? No, we're not looking. It's not killing it. It's not putting a stainless steel hook through the heart of a Ryoga. It's not doing it. So let's just take PE2. Over here on the Ryoga, PE2, 250 meters. Over here in the Saltiga, PE2, 250 meters. So all the line capacities are, are the same. All right. So that's a little bit of the getting in the details. So they lightened it up. Now this is probably about a 2014 Ryoga 2025 here. This isn't the latest and the greatest by any means. Okay, now this same reel is pushing $500, $550 on the JDM market. Okay, brand new. It's gonna be mag sealed. It's gonna have different colors. You can get this reel. I don't know necessarily in this size, the 2025, but you can get a limited edition where it's pink and black, red and black, purple and black, and they got all these funky names for them. All right. So what this turns out to be, still the big dog in, is in my book, the big dog. This is the light tackle bay jigging from Holy Hell and Back, this is the real. Saltiga, a lighter weight. A little lighter weight. Um, it's smooth. I mean, you can't even imagine how that mag seal or the ball bearings in this thing. This is the smoothest reel I've ever turned the handle of in my entire life. Now the Ryoga, it's smooth. When these were brand spanking new, yes, smooth, but I can't get over this one when I turn the handle on this one. So they've got some similarities, but they've got some dissimilarities too. This might actually be the frame and the, the entire sort of uh, profile of the Basara Millionaire, which has a million cutouts all in it for lightweight over here this is all cut out to save weight so this actual frame and this actual frame are different does this have bigger gear case yeah does it have probably bigger gears yeah so you make up your mind what it boils down to is Daiwa doesn't you know, they don't hold back. They're going to make this a price point, this a price point. The Catalina, $285, brand new, looks just like this. You can get it with a big handle. All of a sudden, the bearing count is really low, okay, on the on the Catalina. Um, you go to the Basara, super bass fishing, round reel, super lightweight, everything, uh, then all of a sudden the price shoots up. But still, when it comes to the benchmark, in my opinion, of Daiwa quality as an HD saltwater fisherman, the Ryoga still wins. This is a good, nice little backup here. I wanted to try it. I wanted to see it. I wanted to own one. So it's got a blacked out, Real seat, a real foot here that's a little bit different when you take the side plate off. Okay, there's not a whole lot of difference. The level lines are about the same. It's a little lighter. So naturally, I'm putting this on my lightest of light, light, light jigging rod. And this will maintain its position, this Ryoga, on a heavy-duty, ugly stick catfish rod because I just love the catfish rod for heavy duty, you know, just casting and, and, bot, and some bottom fishing. So these are both what they referred to as, as you can see here, hopefully, 
me see if I can kind of show it to you. Bay jigging. These are all bay jigging because they've got the power handles. Now, both of these reels, you can get them in just single or, you know, double paddle handles. It's a little smaller. This is supposed to come out in a little bit smaller version because there's still a ton of bass fishermen that are going to want this, but they're not going to want this exact version. So let's look at these handles. That's a little beefier. That's a little smaller. This one is on ball bearings because it's, look at that, that's smooth as hell. And this one's also on bearings, and that one is even smoother because it's brand new. The star drags, essentially the same. They give you a little black or a little red accents here where you didn't get any accents on this. Uh-oh, I just pulled through on my rubber band. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Well, either way, folks, there you go. I've been I've been telling everybody about this. This again is a JDM product, Japanese domestic market. I bought it in Japan. It came all the way from Japan. Like many of other my tackle reviews, I'm never really satisfied with what we're getting here in the United States because I kind of like all the fancy stuff and all the fancy stuff the Japanese definitely get. So, let me pull that on through. I'm into the tackle enthusiast stage when other people are just, hey, how can I get a reel? You know, so I mean, there's all kinds of diverse ownership here. But there you go. Thanks for watching. And this has just been another installment of the Jetty Wolf's Tackle Junkie Locker here in the Wolf Den. And thanks for watching.